Hi everybody, JT here. Today video will be uh, this free camp shop RAM. This will uh, this video will be just a walkthrough uh, of free camp shop where I have not done this for a while. So uh, let's take a look, and I will show you some of the stuff in here and this is a uh, first video for spree so it will be very basic let you see the screen and what i did with this part and all those stuff but it's just very basic and let you see what it look like let's walk through this uh, part uh, here and it take me a while to make this part, so I am not going to show you the detail, what to do, or something like that. So, let's get to it. Uh, as you can see here, this uh, spree is kind of old. The new one is, I think, is better looking, more user friendly. This one, I think it's 2019 or 20 or something like that. But all the uh, basic of uh, the camp software it should be all the same. Maybe there's something more. Uh, well, there's something should, should, I would say something would be better with the newer software nowadays, but the basic is just the same thing. So this one, okay. Well, I have a part here. Uh, as you can see, it had the grab pocket, and this one maybe a little bit for old ring. So it kind of you can see it the uh, paper in with this one right here. Probably take me a little bit time to learn it again because um, I haven't done any program for Spree for what a little bit two years now, and I don't have I actually don't have a lot of experience with uh, Spree Cam, but I had the opportunity to learn the Willeman for OAMT and using Spree to do the pro programming and run the part for like a little bit, a couple years, I, I believe, a couple years on and off. We didn't have a lot of uh, stuff to do on this Willeman because it's kind of small, but it's really nice machine to to, to make the program and to run on it. I will show you uh, some stuff with the Willeman because I have machine shim, everything set up with this as well. But let's get into the basic. As you can see here, the menu drop down here it should be uh, similar to other software. This is the most I view mostly solid turn and all this stuff. And over here, the same thing. Uh, this one is for create geometry or edit geometry, trim or something like that. This one is for chain. Chain is geometry, you know, at I. I'm doing in Yip Cam when I call geometry. This one is uh, in Spree. You have to change it to make the geometry. So all this stuff right here, you see, change that the geometry. And all this is I'll go into detail later on, but just give you the idea of what it does and what it looks like. 
Okay, so this is for play. I mostly use this one because I, I can see the word is better than just the icon, just the picture. So I don't use this one a lot. Okay, do this. Okay. Now there's still a lot here to learn. So even for me, because like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with the screen. Um, the guy left my company, he had, uh, I think he trained me four days with the spree and the machine, the wheelman. And most of those type uh, was, most of those type was learning the machine more than learning the software. And if I did the program and I learned it from there on. So, okay, let, this one is just for the uh, simulation, rendering, stuff like that. All right, on this one, this is the main window here, as you can see, it had a uh, work coordinate system, uh, by axis, main spindle V, main spindle for the development, uh, 54 is for lay, for turning, uh, 56 for the vice. And if you can see here, uh, turn for partial pardon, pick up all these stuff. Okay, so this is the main window. Right? The window down here is the information of that feature or that the two packs. Over here you have a work plan where uh, you have to choose what work plan accordingly with the work coordinate you you know you work on. Now here we have the layer window. Um, everything I create or I do I usually separate them out so call it I put in there and if I don't want it can hide it chain you can see all those chain I make I put in there and two pass that same thing so everything I do each uh, how do I say it now each uh, let's say if I put a chain, I make a chain, I put in a chain layer, I make a two pass, I put in a two pass layer. That's basically it. So it's just easy for me to see control. Uh, uh, if I want to look back, I want to see what it does, so I don't see everything in one window, and then it's gonna be a mess basically something like that i i mean uh, my english isn't good so i hope you guys understand what i try to say here and this one right here if you can see when i turn it on if i if i don't turn it on i have a hard time to see so it's just basically xyz but in here it's called what is it UVW axis, but it's basically the same XYZ. All right, and then let's see what else we have here. And up here, you can see this is the layer, this is a work plan, and this is the view that you want to see. Uh, it took me a while to make this program, so. I will not go into detail, but let's render it so you can see what the spree can do. No holder there, but it's the same thing. 
see at this one you can see this spindle is rotating it's this machine the full five axis plus turning so it's new turn machine so you can see the whole machine like that it's really nice machine is you put the bar the material in this bar feeder then you set up everything set up one here if the first part you might turn off make sure everything good and then it just keep running and it will the finished part out here and you don't have to do any other setup besides from the beginning it's really nice and this spindle here i don't it can till plus no actually minus minus three or five degree and then this head can turn to 90. it can go a little bit more than 90 but i usually do 90 because uh, everything you do here you can go take index this spindle to go up here and then you can do something up here instead of let the spindle go down here and the chain might hit the vice down here so it's usually try to do something other ways up here you can see let's turn off the whole machine Oops. a little bit slow so you can see this by come up and grab and cut off and then finish the other end cut off and cut to the side finish and then it will drop off um, but this one I didn't make it come out here to drop off because there is a part a part catcher somewhere over here and then you can control this one go over here and drop it down and then the part finish will come out inside the machine and you can just grab the finished part out here it's really nice machine I didn't have a lot of time to learn it but whatever I know I was running I was using this uh, software to make the program it's, it's, it was kind of fun to to run this machine really nice and this machine I can it specifically for a uh, small part dental small part or uh, medical part something like that uh, I think this machine can go up to one and a quarter inch in diameter and about two inches long two inches and a half or something like that that's all the thing that I could do with this machine when I was using to run well anyway uh as you can see that's really powerful software and you can see here i'll go into more detail and how to make a pro basic program later on but with this video i just give, want to give you the idea what this uh, what the screen look like and what it does and what you can do with it so um well maybe that's it for this video and maybe next time when i get to make some program and then we can uh, go into detail more so all right um see you guys next time and hope you guys enjoy the video and if you do please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button comment down there and then in the future I will make more video of this like I say I don't know a lot of uh, spree but whatever I know I will make the videos on it to show you what it can do okay uh, goodbye now see you guys next time